Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. It's surely with Spirit of Matter. And we are approaching the full moon in Aries. Um, this is a time where we have a lot in the sky, but I'm going to tap into something actually cool that is happening right now and to milk every drop of it. So Mars is actually joining. I don't know how do you do the get ready with me thingy. With one hand, it's going to be really funny. Mars is actually B6 styling Uranus and Neptune. Neptune has to do with uh, art, music, entertainment industry, espionage, healing, shamanism, psychiatry. Uranus, Uranus better per se. I've been talking about Uranus al goal a lot. Um, uh, liberation of sexual energy, the actual liberation, okay, not the electric sh shocks that create, you know, child assassins uh, with expandable children that I've been talking about a lot. Jupiter, Jupiter, our, hmm, you're optimistic today. And Jupiter is um, still sextiling Chiron uh, in Aries. So Jupiter is optimistic about curating a wound around visibility. Um and mars is in cancer okay mars in cancer we say is fallen but mars in cancer what it what what's the good thing about mars in cancer and when i've been doing the chart of jean-claude van damme as martial arts and also actor um and with the mk ultras they're very likely being used as spies so that would be interesting conversation to have um he has mars in cancer okay so you wouldn't you think, oh, Mars in Cancer, it is falling, it is this, it is that. I think I actually don't need to blend it. And I think about this. Do I need to blend it, right? Yeah. And I know I need to do my nails. We're in a war. <laughs> We're in a war. Okay? Anyway, Mars um, in Cancer, the great thing about it, 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 it does not oppress itself. It has to express. I know it's been blame to be passive aggressive but it's also highly emotional it acts out when it needs to defend something or it is housing family um cancer patients okay it acts out and when we have the combination of mars in the sign of housing food nourishment caregiving hospitality uh, we have fertility as well uh, we have um, a yoga that is very protective in the sky. And this is where um, Mars can take a rebellious action that is in tandem with a more holistic perspective on healing, espionage, um, uh, drugs and drug cartels. Um, and, that, and, and Mars is in the sign of housing. So I was waking up today uh, to a couple of testimonials that i connected the dots and you remember i talked about uh you know the kibbutz and the moshav and how to use different electric shocks uh and the children were all sleeping together if there was enough one that the guard was pedophile literally and then they would say nobody would believe them because and so and so but we know that housing first independently independent of ability to work for in for unlimited time and to believe the person for the testimonial curates schizophrenia okay so we understand that the connection between spirit and matter here is such that we really cannot claim scientifically that person is lying until they have housing first independent of ability okay to work and then for when they do it curate schizophrenia okay so it's not uh, um, bombarding people with toxins, but it's actually providing them with resources and believing for the testimonial. Now that we know that, we also understand that when it comes to projects like MK Ultra uh, or the design of the kibbutz, the moshav, the housing, the cities, it is designed to kidnap children, torture them, electrocute them, okay, and uh, create program okay so that they can be used for espionage and that you see in the entertainment industry in a politics 
um, but also those who are in key position. You cannot be, for example, a muckler, okay, a real estate agent. And I, I noticed that when I noticed energy, when, when these people spy on you, they literally, like, you feel them in the energy. <laughs> okay, it's like they're, haunt, they're haunting, and then to release yourself on whistleblowers, to release myself, I have to speak, I have to expose them. Okay, but it's not enough for to speak because I know that these people were trained the way that they were trained. So this basic style is calling for a revolution in the training of espionage, in the training of um, uh, um, security people, in the training of um, uh, psychiatrists, psychologists, uh, and then to expose for rebel for MK Ultra like type of things. Also, and I've been talking about this, when people are raped in order to make them have sex without love so that they can be used for espionage, um, uh, and this is known by Elijah, but not only her, uh, basically the information that comes in is not fully true. Because what happens if you're not connected to your sexual energy, you cannot remember, if you're in dissociation in sexuality and you're not doing a sexuality with willing consent, not only you get, get yeasty and uh, or, you know, losing sperm count, or losing erection, or need to have more and more violence, okay, uh, and so on, and the difficulty in creating, forming intimate relations, and then you're very vulnerable to espionage, actually, okay, so, uh, and that's the, by design, but when information is coming in, in those dissociative ways, it is not correct information, something is always missing, for this to be correct information and this is done so people to dismantle the intelligence to dismantle the security to dismantle the medical system and to dismantle for people to have housing the safe and um, this causes domestic violence this causes um, a situation of even in divorce okay people not having of what they need and this is by design but this basic style is calling for the rebellion because we all deal with that. Whether you are living in safety houses with, as a woman that escaped violence or as a, a leader that is the expandable children, child grown. And they had to, you, first of all, to not die in torture. You had to perform torture and uh, rape of children as child and all these things. Okay, if they are within the systems so, and, and on film. So always to be extorted, always to be that and is really not yielding world politics, it's not yielding science, it's, uh, it's definitely not yielding world peace uh, of resources and it's causing harm to entire humanity. And so the basic style here with Mars is calling for, it's a call to action for the rebellion of the spies, of the entertainment industry, of people from within the industry, okay, for people to um, uh, rebel and uh, change the system because everyone is being affected. The divorces that are happening right now have to do with espionage. Women think my husband is narcissistic, my husband is abusing, and, she, and she's fearing for her life, and he's being gaslighting and doing this. He's just doing what he was trained to do in the intelligence. And many times, did not to choose to go there. If mandatory army service, okay, and the guy is recruited. What can he do, right? Even to die, it's not provided for them. So, um, the wait, no. Um, so that is currently uh, the situation. And if we just go to the Mars was in Pluto, Mars is in Cancer, it's in debt, it's like it's fallen, okay? Um, but if we apply, begin to apply, to the trine and the sextile, we do have a chance to take action. And with the moon conjuncting Aries, that is the marginalized that which was not invited to the party, um, that which is farther for, farthest from the plate. Okay. Um, now we have chance to have call to action for to change these things. And this is change. This is change from the core. Okay. It is change from the core because all of your housing is designed to basically put people in these situations. And 
what the comes out of it is not medicine because housing forced an open dialogue believe in the person the patient curates schizophrenia the most difficult of mental ailment while um, uh, beta blockers okay uh, antipsychotics create heart palpitation cancer heart attacks um, akitesia okay challenges to express yourself which is the antidote of what you need to heal from schizophrenia if you do have this basically MK Ultra is basically genuinely mind control. It's basically genuinely those things. And to heal, you have to speak up and to expose. But then for you expose to these people, it's not about, oh, this person is monster. It's that these people were trained in a way that they never had a chance to escape. So my point is not to expose a person for they would to be off with their head, but to change for entire way we do. National and international security, a medicine, housing, life on earth if we want life on earth we need to stand and those down for life on earth and uh, understanding that for, for people who do not back down the basic style with neptune is protective and with uranus is protective we have the eureka we have all the science that we need to know what is science of what is oppression if it oppresses your sovereignty okay if it, you remember the the bibi netanyahu speech about a duck if it looks like a duck if it sounds like a duck okay if it protects you if it infiltrates your sovereignty if it takes away your rights if it disallows for you to have an identity and still have housing nourishing supporting food it is not medicine it is not politics it is not internal affairs, it is not army, it is not military, it is not national security, it is not intelligence, it is oppression, and it has no mandate to exist within and the Saudi, outside of you, whoever you are, of whichever position you are. From head of intelligence to head of household to common person. Nothing has rights take away for your rights and for the only way to create is to speak up and to expose it's the only way to stay in your body it's the only way to stay in your body so not to the fragmentation and then the Mars be sextile with Neptune and Uranus is that eureka that call to action that hey we need to rebel this this cannot go on like this anymore and you see so many intelligence people leave because they cannot with this and and it's not intelligence it's not protecting of national security it's not everything that their parents been told that they've been told it's none of that and that pertains to whatever dream and goal you have where you want to be somebody whether it's a doctor, engineer, actor, lawyer, um, a military man, commander, leader, anything, any dream that you have of to be somebody, it right now goes through these things and it affects for your sexual energy, it affects your sexual energy, is your passion, your drive to do something, okay? It affects your satisfaction from intimate relations. And yet you, you will be vilified. You will be the narcissistic man. You will be the abusive man. The man that someone runs from for the life. And even assassins are not to be assassin. Okay? For all these people. It's not enough even when you say, okay, yes, there are the testimonials of satanic ritual abuse. Yes, this is important. And everybody's a healer. Yeah, but what about being who we came here to be? designing structures that take children torture them and then for the next children generation for them to do the same is not who we came here to be maybe for some they came for to enlighten people okay but it's even not for they had dreams some artistic some 
architectonic, some uh, um, to change the world of medicine, some of many things. And, and those conditions to disallow for people to be now is called to action to rebel those structures. Even if you are, you know, if everybody want to be somebody, you have to be in some sort of network, okay? Which is Mason, which is Illuminati. But it's okay if it be lower rank. Yeah, okay, but you have your own passion, your own drive to be somebody. To be who you are. And then you say, oh, some people say, well, I will pay for this price. Well, this price is the price of your happiness that alters your creation. You're not supposed to imbue yourself with suffering in order to create beauty. Yes, it's, it's true that when we have suffering, we can make of it beauty. But what about life? What about joy of living? And then these people always susceptible to being targeted by espionage. Which is not even yielding true information. Because it's all fragmented. Annika Lucas that was okay, was uh, trained uh, to be artist and sex espionage as a child. Which means she was basically raped and then she would tell her handler for the things that, that she saw. She did not even know until I looked at all these things and I was like, wait, but the people, these, these politicians that you were sent to spy on, they also are expandable children grown. And thanks to Lars' testimonial on through this channel that I know. Okay, Mama versus Mafia on YouTube. She did not even know that these people were also expandable children grown it's just she, she meet them when they are older. And such division is created that even the survivors sometimes don't even know how many people are in this. Or witnessing this. Or this was the partner. And if this was your partner, or this was your psychologist, or this was your uh, lecturer, or whatnot, then the, the only way for them to try to deal with you is in those gaslighting ways. And you shake the entire core from, from, from the, of existence because you show them, hey, here we came here to live life. So the, of course, complete collapse of the system, but this is just side effect. We came here to live life. Not for to be enslaved, not for to be fragmented, not for to be constantly vilified and accused where it's by design, but to live. And for housing to be architectonically uh, um, designed for life. Not for to make deals with the devil that doesn't even need a child. Did you know that all these things that I know, I ask Al Gol for to abolish expandable children projects? Al Gol. Al Gol is the one that they do the ceremonies, the serpent goddess that they sacrifice these children to. I asked Al Gol for to abolish this and I was getting all the information. So she doesn't even need this sacrifice. She doesn't even need this sacrifice. It's a different type of wealth. Now we have, okay, Moon on Andromeda and Eris on Andromeda. It's a good time to remind us to what is and what isn't. The Mars not too far from Procyon. Procyon is a great denuclefication. Of course, good side effect of this is that if we no longer train people by crazy, crazy mass human sacrifice. People are being put next to dead bodies that are rotting, seeing people being eaten alive, uh, participating in rape and eating humans, like really weird shit. As children, as children, child lies in a grave and then there is a dead body rotting next to the child. That's a part of what their ritual abuse is. And Al Gol doesn't need that. Nor does Baal. None of them. They don't need that. They never did. Al Gol mundanely signifies this because people try to offer suffering for sacrifice 
rather than to curate these situations in society, to children to have childhood, to have a willing consent, in intimacy, which is important, and to have an architecture and infrastructure supportive of this. Same problems that women escape violence deals with the police leader that talks about basically expandable children in Islam deals with any person with whichever role, security role that has to rely on security or the police to be safeguarded that has to deal with that with the intelligence. It's a constant movie where they, they can kill him at any second. And that pertains and anybody that wants to be somebody has to have the entire dream fractured and uh, turned into something that they no longer enjoy living. It's true. If we want to live a life that we enjoy living, we have to tend to that. There's no way for not to tend to that. There's no way for to swipe it under the rug. And then you don't have job satisfaction, your housing you not doesn't feel like home. Okay? Your traveling doesn't feel like vacation, which it should. Your relationships with your loved ones don't feel intimate. Your sexuality, you're out of touch with this. And you begin to be ill. And instead of curation, you offered perpetration. So the Mars, Neptune, Uranus, B6 style is really the rebel of the spies, the rebel of the doctors, the rebel of um, uh, the entertainment industry, okay? The rebel of the scientists, uh, the, the to do with these things, okay? Uranus is on the lunar mansion. And the phase of Taurus that deals with spirit and the matter. We cannot ignore the spiritual conversation. Everybody has right to protect themselves. And housing first and believe in patient is curating for schizophrenia. So scientifically, they're not imagining it. And this is true from the common person to head of intelligence. It's true from Klaus Schwab to Hank and Ingrid, to, you know, Tom, Dick and Harry, to, I don't know what would be Chinese uh, word for that, for Russian word for that. Israel, Israeli. So, <laughs> okay. Or Israel, Israeli. It's, it's true. All of them. So now, okay, if all this created to awaken people, okay, now awaken. Now rebel. Now do something about this. Because to live like that is not life. Okay. And we came here to live. We came here to live and to celebrate life. We came to live, we came to love, we came to enjoy, we came to create, we came to be who we are. And no one is not no one and nothing has right to take that away. So that is my message for this full moon in Aries. Um with Aries in Aries. Uh, and this is what we do have. Okay, for the, well, the protection of the sky that we do have. And the call to action that we do have. Um, you can focus on that opposition to Pluto. Or you can actually do something. Okay, to, to, to do something big, bigger. The changes for these world events. Because uh, it's, it's not just your economy and currency. It's the house that you live in the school that you go to, the people that you are living with, the work that you're doing, the satisfaction from your overall satisfaction from life, 
And all this gaslighting doesn't hold water. It falls like Tower of Cards. Get invoked a second. Okay? You're not into it. And if somebody, if you feel somebody's energy undesired in your energy, speak up. Speak up, expose them. But also speak up for the training of for these people. And although it does move. Now I want to tell you a funny story. I was arguing with my mother about these things. And she said, I cannot hear anymore. <laughs> and she gave me two hot cookies. Right from the oven. Then I test the cookies and I'm like, oh my God, this is such good cookies. Entire atmosphere changed. <laughs> what is this? Basically, cookies is food. It's co just cookies. It's not like, I know I'm Dutch, but it's not like anything uh, fancy. <laughs> so, um, and, and this is cancer, is food. Hot is Mars. Okay, mother, moon. <laughs> okay. And the moon is conjunct in ruler of my fourth and the seventh house. So in the heat of an argument, got hot cookies, and that remediated all the fiery explosive <laughs> energy that was in the house. Because uh, I'm like, yes, you know, housing is designed for exactly to kidnap children, to this, to that. I was like, I cannot hear this anymore. <laughs> so, uh, because for my uh, 73 years old mother now is too tired from fighting. <laughs> And, and she did quite fair share. Okay, we literally had intelligence in our houses. Ripping off eyes, by the way, of, of dolls. I might, you know what? Fuck it, I'll show you. <laughs> I think I think it's even here. What did they... Let me see that. Because that's been a mess. I think I don't... Wish to cut off the feet here. Oh, the, in the car, that's the one that they cut off the eye of a doll. Like, there's... So fucking weird. <laughs> it will move things around the house like really dumb fuckery. Anyway, um, like, hey, I'm not gonna shut up about this anymore. Um, they, and you know what? They do this to our leaders. They do this to, <laughs> they do this to everyone. <laughs> it's just so dumb. Um, why? Because she wrote the book. Okay, the book had something to do with politics and his story and then all these things and then when I wrote Sugar Free Lemonade it started ripping off the eyes from the dolls and like what is this dumb fuckery? <laughs> this is stupid. The gods that you sacrifice to make these sacrifices to they don't need it. I asked for this god that I didn't know people sacrificed to them. I said I asked the goal how do we abolish expandable children? And I would get all the information to pay attention to. Okay, but how does this happen? And then you see the monasteries underneath the ground. They have the symbols of the um, snake goddess, which is Olgol. Like, she doesn't need that. <laughs> okay? <laughs> she doesn't even need that. So it is completely useless. And uh, even when you say it's to enslave humanity, well, people develop... What is neurodivergent? Okay, people develop oversensitivity. They develop... Do you know, one of my parents developed... Uh, you know, so many people, after trauma or war, they develop um, claustrophobia. It means they cannot be in closed places. You see how this is curation for the situation? Because every, every government office is closed place. So they cannot be in these places. The reason I was born, only reason I was born, because hospital was still not the way it is today. I think they would not bring children. Yeah, it is true. And I had my father call me, my Dutch father called me the Hebrew name, Tali, which is the dew in the morning, because I was born early in the morning. And you could see that from the window. How many people can still birth the child and see what was due in the morning and the name the child for what is happening around that is good omen. The freshness of the water and indeed of what I do in life, especially as I connect to Netherlands, is to bring in, to clarify, to bring in the fresh water of the morning, okay, the fresh water. 
whether it's planting bay leaf or preparing for a you know forest to, to clear the water of the deep wells or the clarification of for the site it has to do with that my mother called me, called me my song which is literally <laughs> all, all everything you can think of about singing <laughs> is relevant okay it's what is the the, the bird song uh, it's the it's it's the whistleblower it's the one that tells for the messages and indeed i would wake i would sleep uh, and then from five in the morning as a child i would begin to mumble <laughs> and then but this is true and my dutch father gave me for the name of the fresh morning dew which i didn't think about too much but this is basically the fresh waters and the waters that are naturally created from the, the changing from night to day is my middle name so young blood could be child assassins but it's basically the warriors instead of people that were sacrificed okay for to change that cult of sacrifice and change the cult of sacrificing children for satanic ritual abuse and then it brings in the water it's naturally forming and how we do it, we sing, we talk. Mars names. See me. So, um, yeah, that that is, you know, the the, the 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 funny thing around it. But it's also showing you how things curate for themselves. The time, even with language, you see it. Okay, for the time I could acquire almost any language, I forgot completely Arabic. Completely forgot Arabic. Okay? Because I didn't, the, I was not made to be recruited to intelligence. I forgot the language. And then with Dutch, you know, have. So when I needed, for the, when I needed it for housing, I could not speak Dutch. When I hear the language, I mostly understand, but I could not speak Dutch. I need this for housing, okay? There's something there, right? If I even Hebrew, when I get emotional, I speak English, and then I would sometimes speak German. It's been a while, but I no longer speak German that much. Um, but yeah, that's that. That's a part of of these things. Just the language to acquire or not acquire. Okay, in high school, I volitionally took French instead of Arabic because I didn't want to go to intelligence. Um, otherwise, I guess you recruited, um, and so. Given that army mandatory service is not local army, even it is infiltrated army infiltrated by cult like Wagner Fund, that created seventh October co-created seventh October. And the murdered and the kidnapped for pedophilia rings. But each people did that. Of all these people did that. There's a lawsuit now against them. Okay. Because it was war crime, but it's beyond that. It's at times of peace. So, of course, I would not be recruited to intelligence. Because I'm meant to do something different than that. And to speak. Um, very early on in life, I was about, um, a family of people of the world. We indoctrinated uh, in such way that certain traumas happened, if domestically, that... There's no secret. So some one person's response was, hey, why right? But another person's response is like, okay, I just make peace with that, with that transparency. And the fact that there's not too much privacy. And uh, and became whistleblower. But not whistleblower for, for others. 
It's just that the way I do, the way I maintain being in my body and maintaining my sanity is speaking up. And this is how I got to know about open dialogue, which means that scientifically the testimonial is correct. It's way more correct than anybody who is fragmented because they've been tortured, or raped, electrocuted, and then programmed to forget things which they tried to do to me. We have some of our key figures and leaders to remember. And then they try to keep them locked up. Won't help. It won't help. They'll break free. So when you begin to make rational sense of it, and you think, okay, who can be real estate owner of having okay, enough real estate to sustain themselves? Because once upon a time, you would think, oh, you can have one apartment to two apartments, you have passive income, then you have retirement, uh, and that would be normal. Okay, families would live there, or students would live there. Um, and then it became such that people, I see uh, uh, real estate agents, real estate business people, they say, only in your fourth, your fifth uh, apartment can you begin to dream about the financial freedom. It's like, that doesn't make any sense. That's a house. That's the thing that always rises in value. Okay? That doesn't stand for inflation anymore. Why? Because for these gods, they infiltr infiltrated humanity so much so that you have to be intelligent. I literally saw advertisement of real estate agency say, why do I need a, a, a penthouse apartment for the drones to film me when I'm in my bathing suit with my child in the pool? And it's true, they film. And then they think, oh, you would extort this person would be ashamed that uh, a, a picture of their unshaved coochie is a uh, footnote. It's like, no, you'll be ashamed that you do these things instead of rebelling, as you should. Do you have for the access to rebel? Okay, and, and you face that with, the, with that mirror. And then would you think you rent a house? No, you're basically recruited to intelligence. Because you need housing. If you don't take that pill, that pill, that you rent house, then your house is spied on. Your devices, all citizens, all citizens okay? What did uh, Edward Snowden talk about? He say yes, he's intelligent. Of course, he's CIA. But he also said the truth. <laughs> okay? Clock, a broken clock does tick twice a day, correct. It's also the truth. All of it to control people. It's not for your security. And you say, I felt I live my life. Okay, well, let people live life. Like, <laughs> really, let people live life. Scientifically, all your Tower of Cards wrong. All your judges, they have snuff film of them. All your enforcing system, filled with gaps. So, let live. Let live. The gods that the children are sacrificed to, they don't need that. Better per se. For connecting would be better per se for to get this information. That's the gods that they sacrifice. It's like, this is the god that you sacrifice these children to. She exposes you. She exposes you. Wake up! It's not needed. All the gaslighting, Tower of Cards collapsing. Yeah, people changing from the core, of course. Because we came here to live life. That's why. 